we look back today and this is this is another thing like about entrepreneurs is like i look back at some of the first products we sold and i'm like holy crap who would buy that yeah and but at the time it was that was fine it was good people liked it and then from there we kind of just started pushing the boundaries and using the engineering and the relationship between a lash artist and an engineer to say okay here's what we have but how can we make it better and then we started going to our suppliers and saying i need you to change this 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 and this and i want you to make it this way and um here's the designs for this product like can you do the tooling on this and, and the molds and stuff and so that's kind of what made bella lash bella lash at that time it was it was a lot of like pushing the boundaries and being the first to do a lot of different things with the products like I think we were one of, if not the very first to even have a lash cleanser. That's how far back. We Impressive. Were. I mean, I love that you guys are truly innovators and that you are finding solutions versus it is still standard practice in the beauty industry to buy something overseas, slap your sticker on it and say you have a brand and not necessarily anything wrong with that. But I do love you guys dive deep into creating your own products that are truly yours and also very helpful that make lash artists job easier. Yeah. yeah. And that's what you'll, that's what people notice when they do use Bella Lash. They're like, wow, this does, it feels different. It is different. It's not what every, it's not what everyone's doing. We don't take, we don't buy stuff overseas anymore and stick a sticker on it. Like we truly innovate every single aspect of the product. And so you can feel the difference. And that's a big thing with Bella Lash. We were, we were with, um, we're, we're selling a really cool new product to a, a big national, um, chain of, of, of lash salons and we were at their headquarters last week and they we have uh one of our products is just it's just like a, a lash uh cleansing wipe and it but it's on like this like little round foam thing and she, uh, they they want it and they, but they don't want to pay us for it because it's too expensive and, and they try to replicate so it they try to just... replicate it and she's like she's like we're just gonna order these i was like no you're not and she's like why not i was like because those suck and they're like no they're fine i'm like no they're not like there's <laughs> some solvent i don't know what your ingredient deck is but like there's some solvent in your solution that is eating away the foam the foam is expanding whoa like like look at this tear your foam apart see how like swollen it was and how easy it tears apart now look at mine and they did that and they're like that crap and I'm like, do this for like a 4% royalty. And I'm like, I don't really get out of bed for 4%. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like, just, um, we do, we do it a little different. And I think that's like why I love that. What we always say is here is like, don't look around, look up. Like it's huge for us to not look around at what competition is doing. And I actually just don't even feel threatened about all the comp competition that's out there because it's Im impossible to copy Bella Lash. You can't. Um, I love that. <laughs> Yeah, you just I mean, can't copy it. So it's fine. Like, I support you. Go ahead. Start, like, a lash company. Like, I, it's great because I'm very confident in where our company is right now. And I, it's very hard to copy because of all the engineering that's gone into each product. 